Welcome back, everybody, for another video. Today we are talking about Mirsham and the two different types of Mirsham that you can possibly buy for a pipe, and that is the block and the press. Now, the press, the press Mirsham is something you you pretty much want to stay away from now what that is is it's the shavings of from a block when a carver is carving their shavings and stuff so what they do they they collect all that shaving they grind it up and they press it with an adhesive and form another block of meerschaum basically well the problem with that is it's not porous it's not, it doesn't um, filter correctly. It, it, it doesn't, it doesn't function correctly. Like, like a, a true Meerschaum should function and it won't color. If by some reason it does color, it's going to be real spotty at that. So, so if you ever had a Meerschaum in the past that, you know, it might've smoked fine. At least you thought it did. And, and it never, and never colored. I mean, you put hundreds of bowls through and it never colored. Most likely, it's probably press. Um, nowadays, I really don't see too much of that. There might be some knockoffs coming from China, but I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't see a lot of it. If you stick to the main dealers, um, they're all block. They're all block. Um, now, how can you tell the difference? Well... I guess you're just going to have to go on the dealer and say, all right, it's block. Okay. All right. I believe you. There is a way of testing it and you really, no one does it because it's kind of unethical. As you take a new pipe like this and you see the bowl, the bowl is here. So bright. There it is. And it's pure white on the inside. And the old saying is you can stick your tongue on the inside of that, and you, if you feel like a, almost like a suction, um, that means it's real meerschaum. What's happening is the saliva in your tongue is actually going inward into the block, and you kind of feel like it's almost like a stickiness. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Especially on a new pipe. Um, or if you're looking to buy one. <laughs> but that was, um, that's kind of an old wise tale over the years, but um, you can... Use your finger after you bought it, obviously, because it's too late at that point. I mean, you're not going to go up to a table, a Meerschaum table at the show and, uh, and start fingering everything. You know, and, you know that's not going to happen. So, oh, you can. You can see what happens to you if you want. But um, you can just feel what I'm getting at. There's always a way of testing. You can feel the, the suction go on, uh, you know, on the tip of your finger. Um, you stick to the main dealers. You have blocks. Every pipe that I bought over the years has been a block because it's colored in some in some form, fashion or another. It has it has colored. So you know you get a new pipe like this, and you know what I'm talking about. This is the Earth and Claw. And I had this commissioned. Um, probably I don't know four or five years ago by Alley. The stamp there. I have ever wants to focus, but I've never seen a claw and egg before. I'm sorry, I always see claw and egg, but I never saw earthen and claw. So I had to make it and to my knowledge this was the first one and then they made a few other ones I've seen them come up, but I, I still don't see them around. But um I have something planned for this pipe, so um I do plan on using it. But anyway, the press, I do believe this stuff is probably press. The um, the tampers, these tampers, they're probably press. Um, and it's a good way for upcoming carvers to practice on. I mean, something for a tamper, you know, you got a Davy Jones tamper. That's pretty cool. That's good practice. Um, or they're just... They find these small blocks that they can't make a pipe out of, so they end up, you know, like like maybe skinnier blocks. 
and uh, they make um, tampers out of them to practice. But um, yeah, this this is good for. Um, not saying I don't know what this is. This is actually waxed. I don't know what it is. Balance, but I don't care because I'm not smoking out of them. They're tampers. It doesn't matter. So, but it, it, um, I think that might be the 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 trend now. Um, instead of actually making pipes out of pressed meerschaum, which is just it's ground up shavings from you know you have a block and you know the carver carved on. Well, where does it go? It falls. Falls on a lap. Falls on a floor. They sweep it all up, make a powder out of it, put adhesive and, and press it, and now we got a new block. So it's kind of synthetic meerschaum, almost. almost. Um, so, but it doesn't breathe. It's got the. It's not natural because it's been altered big time. So that's the difference. You want to stay away from press. Um, they say you might have a pipe that that smoked great over the years, never colored. Yeah. Yeah, most likely it's pressed. But if you want a true meerschaum pipe, a true block, go with the block. Like I said, all the major retailers, the, the major um, companies, Depot, IMP, all, all these guys, Market, all these guys, they, they're all blocks. They deal with the carvers. They have contracts with carvers and stuff, so it's not... You're not, you shouldn't find a press in there at all. Um, but if you're searching around eBay or you're trying to find some cheap knockoffs to try to see if you like it, yeah, yeah, that could, that, yeah, you can get burnt. So, all right, I hope that helped. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.